All right, how's it going, guys? Today we are back with the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture. So this guy was originally released as a Build-A-Figure in Hasbro. Just re-released him with a new um, paint deco and some new accessories. So, I mean, some people are not really going to care too much and be a little bummed that they didn't get these accessories in the first place. But in my case, I did not get this Build-A-Figure initially. So I'm super happy he's re-released. Um, with more paint and more accessories so I mean it works out for me but not for everybody but he still looks pretty badass he is um $41 kind of a uh, kind of expensive but not too much I do love these deluxe figures so I'm really happy to see this taking a look at the box you can see Spider-Man Homecoming Marvel's Vulture Hasbro four and up there's a barcode if you want it. I'm giving it to you take it and then on the sides you get this cool art of the Vulture very nice. Same art on the other side as well. At the top, you do get the Spider-Man Homecoming logo as well. On the back, again, you get a really cool picture of the Vulture. With an impressive flying apparatus, Adrian Toomes soars through the skies to threaten Spider-Man. So, very dope. Um, Would have been cool to get a Michael Keaton head, but yeah, whatever, man. Not, not, not a big deal. Maybe at some point they'll give us a Michael Keaton in prison look and we can head swap or some shit. That'd be really cool. But very nice art on the back and a really cool digital uh, render of the figure. So without further ado, let's check out this dude's wingspan. Okay, so here we have a bunch of wing pieces. Here's the main piece, obviously, that plugs on to Michael Keaton. Um, it looks like these are gonna snap on over these somehow. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be a real mess for me right now. Okay. So, you're going to want to take this piece, make sure all this techie stuff is showing and not this side, of course, and pop it on right here. Ooh, there we go. That was kind of tight. Okay, so it kind of goes over that. Then you'll, it's going to cover those little uh, fans a bit. Ooh, that is pretty, be careful not to break that, it's pretty snug. Okay, so we got that part down. Then we got both ends of the wings, and you're gonna want the less green part on the inside. So then this will go, oh geez, this one's kinda like, uh, okay, interesting. So there's articulation there. Pop that on like so. And then this one on the other side, again, the less green part on facing you, facing um, the vulture's back. Boom, okay, the wings are built. And then looking at the other accessory, this stand, I don't know how the hell these wings are even supposed to like stay in there. I guess once he's on the actual piece, oh my God, this is pretty clumsy, I'm not even gonna lie. Once he's actually on this thing and the stand is there. I think it's mainly just here to support the wings so Vulture doesn't go toppling over. So you're gonna want that piece, I'm guessing, facing his back. But like, it's even just a little bit too high up, maybe? Like, this isn't really doing much for me. It's not even, it's not a flight stand, it's, and his, his knee pad just popped off. So I don't know, this stand is kind of, crap and just getting these wings out of the way the sculpting is really good the paint is pretty average i think the blue hues on these little fans look really really dope but overall the sculpting on these are is, it's just phenomenal and i love the amount of green we get man it just looks really good and again i, I love the propellers sculpt is spot on on point the articulation with these wings sorry i gotta move them here kind of an awkward position so these obviously go forward and back. They do pop out if you're not too careful with it, clearly. So forward, back, quite a bit. You get forward about that far before it pops off completely. And then these little fans are articulated separately. So those go forward and back, and then you get a little rotation there. So that's pretty cool. And then there is some articulation here at this end of the wing. Goes forward, goes back, and then it does have a rotation here at the edge, which I'm not sure why you'd utilize that too much, but it looks really cool for the most part. 
and the wingspan is just absolutely I'm gonna move my camera here absolutely massive it spans almost well it spans four legends boxes so pretty freaking huge if you ask me I, I I dig it so if you bend the wings back a little bit and leave them on the stand it's still pretty wobbly and falls pretty easy but it, it'll stay so here he is with the stand actually on the back of his wings and I did glue that knee pad on. And as you can see, I got them all decked out with the accessories and stuff, but I plugged in the wings to his back. They fit super well, but the stand to me isn't really a flight stand as much as it is just a stabilizer for him and the wings if you want him uh, posed up on your shelf with these wings all stretched out. To be honest, I would have rather paid 50 or $60 to get a nicer stand than this. This feels like um, junk. I, I don't know. It doesn't really do much for me, to be completely honest. And it doesn't stabilize him enough to make me feel like that was even worth including. Like, I can still get him standing just fine. I mean, maybe you could get him in a pose with, like, one leg off the ground. Like, yeah, fantastic. But this still it's kind of a piece of crap, man. I don't want to be an ass kisser here and be like, this is amazing. But because it's not. This is not a great stand at all. And I feel like it wasn't even worth including. Um, if, if you're going to put a stand in with the deluxe figure... You might as well just give him a bit of a bigger box, up the price a little bit, and give me something really, really dope, in my opinion. Because this dude should be flying. Like, I mean, not to compare too much, but the stand we got with the Falcon cap, um, the new Captain America, Sam Wilson, is pretty great for his size. And you can get him in some good flight poses. Um, it's a little bit weak in the plastic region, but it's still better than this. This is just a... A stabilizer for the wings mostly again you can see i got them with one leg up and you could have some more fun with that i'm sure but it's not really a flight stand by any means honestly so if we want to pop him off of this here he is pretty stuck on there that peg is real good but you can see without him on it it it's pretty wobbly let me get these wings completely straight it's a little bit sketchy to me. I don't think it's that great of a stand. So I glued this knee pad back on, of course, so I'm not gonna mess with that leg too much. I'll try closing it there, okay, good. So you can see we got him like, uh, the, the old one basically was just a super dark brown jacket, not a whole ton of paint apps. This one has some great paint apps all throughout. You can see right along this fur collar here, it has a nice wash throughout. The eyes are a lot smaller and you can actually remove this here. I think you could in the old one. Get a nice look at that real techie badass face. It even looks a little scuffed on the nose. I dig it. But it's real easy to pop back on. Um, it looks kind of dirty almost in my opinion. But it looks really dope and I think the eyes are a lot more frightening in my opinion. I dig it. Um, on the helmet too, you get nice silver paint apps. You get that nice tube going to the back. It does hinder the articulation a little bit, but that's okay. Whatever. The paint apps all throughout though are pretty solid, I think. Um, looks like I have some paint issues right here. You can see the metal is a bit um, meshed with the, the brown coat there. So that's a bummer. But otherwise, I haven't really had anything stand out to me that is terribly ugly. I think the texturing is really good. Um, it is pretty much the same body. I'm not sure if these are new legs. Again, I didn't own the other, you know, the last figure. But I do like that they gave us some metal arm pieces with it. And these claw feet are just really badass. I love the silver throughout these. It looks very good. Only um, real complaint about the figure itself. Um, would have been nice to get maybe some different jacket arms. Because these obviously uh, have the pins in them and are a bit skinny. Um... Not even skinny, really, but flimsy and gummy. I think it would have been cool to get some updated arms. Um, I do think this metallic paint is a bit more plasticky looking than whatever we get all throughout here. But that's really it. I actually am so glad they included these arm pieces here. And, of course, that's the next accessory. I'm not sure if these are actually used to control the flight suit. I don't believe they are. Honestly, I think these might even be magnets of some kind or something. I don't know. I might sound like a complete dumbass right now. It's been a long time since I've seen Spider-Man Homecoming, to be honest. 
I kind of um uh float towards the Raimi movies more. I'm not some crazy Raimi stan over here, but I do love those movies. Um but I'm not sure exactly. They might control the wingsuit. I'm not sure. I'll look into it um once I pause this. But all throughout this paint looks really good. The sculpt is really, really good. Um the big difference between this one and the old one though is obviously his ass. It's a lot better looking. No, jokes aside, it's the paint. The paint is better looking. The paint looks very good on this guy. The green is much more vibrant. I do want to mention too, um, the old one I think had more green on the back of the wings or the front of the wings, I guess. And this one has more green on the back and less on the front. And I do, I forgot to mention too, there's really nice blue and purple hues here, which I don't really recollect from the movie, um, but it probably was there and I just need to go rewatch it. And I should mention too that these wings kind of have a silverish hue right in there. It's all kind of pixelated. It looks very dope. I dig it. But the figure itself, I do think is pretty cool. And the paint apps on the accessories are excellent. And if you do want to put this arm piece on, just an FYI, you're going to have to port it in like that right there. And then just pop the hand into the peg hole. If we can get it in, that'd be great. Come on, man. Ugh, kind of a pain in my ass right now. Not gonna lie, it was a lot easier the first time. There we go. And these obviously aren't articulated at all. No, whatever. But they're very um, posable and gummy and just rubbery and aren't gonna break or anything. So that's great. And they do have some cool paint apps on the bottoms of them. And I don't really see any marbling. A um, little bit on that arm there, but nothing too crazy. So for the most part, he looks really stacked and it looks dope. I'm very pleased with it, but you will want to conform the arms a bit if you want a very nice natural look to it. So, I mean, even from the backside, just all that armor looks very, very cool. But it would have been cool to get maybe a new body mold. I do think this one looks a lot better than the other Vulture. And I'm glad I didn't go and buy uh, the whole way for the bath, I guess. There's just a few figures in that wave I wish I had, like Moon Knight and the Homecoming Spidey. And I don't remember the rest, but same old articulation from the old one. Got the ab crunch, of course, and great, great movement. The head doesn't go very far back, but it does go pretty far down, as you can see. And it is on that, oh my God, it's on that old disc joint there, as you can see. So you can pop that off and get a nice look at it. It's pretty dope. Very nice sculpt and paint work on that head. Very much the standout of this figure for me. Like, oh, I love that head sculpt. Would have been cool to get the Michael Keaton head, though. But the disc is really, really tight. So you can get more movement out of it. But it's just really stiff right out of the box, man. I don't want to break anything. The arms go up about that far. Again, they're very gummy, as you can see. Which I'm usually not, like, complaining about too much. But this time it kind of bugs me. Goes down about that far. Rotates all the way around. Bicep rotation double jointed elbows that go a little over 90 well quite a bit over 90 degrees but not all the way like touching his bicep or anything then there is a rotation at the wrist and they're both horizontal joints again i showed you the ab crunch you get a decent range of movement pretty good rotation at the waist legs go out about that far but hindered by these pieces here on his hips they go forward about that far and back not too far because of his ass cheeks there's a rotation at the thigh double jointed knees and they are pinless too so they i wonder if they added new knees i bet they did no rotation below the knee but there is a nice ankle pivot and there is a nice toe uh ankle joint here an ankle ankle disc joint looks good but it has a great range of motion now i don't have the homecoming figure but i have the second closest thing to it um, it utilizes quite a few of the same pieces, um, basically just legs, but it's similar in proportions enough to give you a real idea. And I mean, especially in height of the Vulture next to that Homecoming Spider-Man costume. And hopefully we get a new updated version of that, but you can see um, the height's pretty accurate. And here he is next to two more Spider-Man, the Civil War Spidey from the three pack. In my opinion, has the best paint apps of any of the Spidey figures we've got. Then the newest Spider-Man we've gotten, the uh, integrated suit Spidey. It has the integrated Iron Spider and the Far From Home suit and God knows what else. But it looks pretty dope. I really like this figure, to be honest. But you can see the height is pretty good with these. Actually, I think this one's a little bit too tall, maybe. But for the most part, I dig it. 
And then here he is next to Mysterio. And um, these are the two Tom Holland villains we have from his trilogy and movies so far. His uh, villains that weren't in any of the other movies except for his are introduced in his movies. And I think the heights are pretty accurate, especially considering... I mean, Michael Keaton, I think, is around the same height as Jake Gyllenhaal, maybe a little bit shorter. But um, you have to consider that he is in a super tacky suit with some wild feet here. So... I think the heights are pretty accurate. I think they look very dope together. Um, but where's the shocker figure, dude? That's what I want. I want another shocker figure. Um, the uh, movie version shocker would be nice to have with these two. So there you have it, folks. There's the new deluxe vulture figure. I'm really trying to get him in the shot here, his, his full wingspan, because he's just massive. He looks really good by himself. The only thing that really frustrates me is the stand. But that's it. That's literally my only complaint. Little bum the kneecap popped off, but shit happens. I'm not going to say it's a big flaw with the figure by any means. So I would give this figure like a 10 out of 10. I think he's definitely the essential Vulture figure for the MCU's Vulture. I think he looks really good. They really updated the paint apps in a great way. Added some great accessories. We are lacking a Michael Keaton head and a good flight stand. But I can live without it um, for now at least. But I don't think we're going to see this guy again anytime soon. So take what you have. I think he's definitely worth the 40 bucks and he's a hell of a lot of fun. He's a great looking figure and I'm super happy to see him next to my Tom Holland Spidey. So very dope, very happy with it. Definitely worth the money. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. And let me know what you think of this figure and what you think of his flight stand in general. Um, let me know if it was a big issue for you or if you just like the figure itself and you're happy with what you got. Personally, I'm pretty happy with what I have. I'm a little bummed out about it, but it doesn't really make or break the figure for me in general. Most things don't when it comes to dumb shit like that when you have a good figure in front of you. So without further ado, guys, thanks for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, get vaccinated, and go watch more of my videos.